Ho! Merry Christmas, viewers! I'm Ichi Santa, filling in for Ichi Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun! Since last time, I decided to go back to a save file I made before heading to Kalima and went to the Mercury Lighthouse first instead. I thought I'd show a much more challenging fight against the Turos with lower levels and without... Well, yeah, I don't have the levels to get Cutting Edge, and I also don't have the Granite or Breeze Gin either with me. And by the way, the reason I gave the Fever Genie to Mia is to help boost her agility high enough to where I can guarantee her being able to heal before Saturos attacks again. And I gave all my healing items to Garrett since he has enough agility and he doesn't really have much better to do. Isaac will pretty much be attacking every round, and Ivan can cast Impact on Isaac and then use Prism himself for his own damage there. Now, the reason why I'm showing this part here is because you might have noticed when I was casting Ply there, uh, all of my party members had used some amount of their synergy, but for some bizarre reason, the... Cutscene only restores Ivan and Mia's synergy, not Isaac and Garrett. I'm guessing it has to do with, like, Mercury being aligned with Jupiter as far as the two elements are concerned. There's something going on with that. Whatever it is. But yeah, let's reset our gin, and now let's just skip to the fight then, shall we? You're gonna get a lump of coal in your stocking, Saturos! For boss time! Okay, so this time around, I want to use impact on Isaac. I'm gonna have Isaac attacking. We'll just have... Yeah, we'll just have Garrett attacking there. And... Yeah, let's go with Frost there, too, on Mia. So basically, what I want to do is... Well, let's figure out where he is in his AI script. Okay, he's got Fireball. This'll hurt a little. But, yeah, it's not extraordinarily difficult to deal with. Okay, let's get the last impact on Isaac there. And then I'm going to have Garrett take care of whatever healing needs we have. Okay, he's probably just going to use just a regular attack now. So, yeah, let's go with that. And, yeah, we'll go there. So, yeah, with Mia equipped with a Venus Genie, she has access to... Uh, cure there. At least I think that's the cure I was using. Okay, he could use Heat Flash. That works too. Okay, let's see. Okay, so Fireball, Heat Flash. Okay, yeah, then he's going to use an attack. Okay. So now, let's see where I am. Yeah, let's just go with Prism there. We can heal up Mia, and then Mia can heal up Ivan for us. Yeah, part of the reason why I want to use Prism for damage, even though I could probably deal a little more damage with two... Uh, what are they? Oh, I need everyone to defend here. Because he's, he's gonna use Eruption. But yeah, I could deal a little more damage with two impacts, but Garrett and Mia are pretty much gonna be on healing duty full time. So, I kinda need to... Uh, well... Get what damage in I can without buffing up the, well, anyone else, really. Hmm. I think Cure will be good enough here. Now, one thing about this fight also is that since this fight is going to take... Whoa! Uh, yeah, this fight is going to take a while. So, let's see. He's going to use Heat Flash next, so... I'm eventually going to need to rebuff my party members. Or, well, particularly, just Isaac, really. I'm not even going to buff up Garrett, because most of the time, I'm not even going to be able to get an attack in there anyway. But yeah, buffs, if I recall correctly, they last for six rounds, I think. And I am getting pretty lucky with not taking too much damage. He's got, I think, yeah, Fireball coming up here.
Ow. Okay, so now I want to use Impact, even though it's not going to do anything to buff up Isaac's attack because he's already at the cap. But I want to do that anyway because that'll reset the timer on that. So I won't have to buff up twice. Okay, yeah, that should be good enough. Yeah, Garrett and Mia should be fine. Yeah, Garrett and Mia have just barely enough agility to be faster than Saturus. Yeah, you saw how... Uh, impact, yeah, it buffed up his attack by nothing, but it didn't run out, so now it'll last for another six rounds there. Okay, so let's keep on going there. Hmm. Yeah, we'll be good. We'll be fine. Don't be afraid to spend the synergy on Cure Well with Mia, because she's getting her synergy restored so quickly, it doesn't matter. Although, Cure usually can get the job done, but sometimes she just doesn't heal quite as much as I would hope her hope she could. Fortunately, we do have enough herbs to last us for quite some time. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with Cure well, anyway. Too bad Ivan can't get some of that synergy regeneration going. Okay, let's see. So, yeah, next one, he's got just a regular attack. By the way, if Saturos gets the delusion status on Isaac there, I would use a... What is that? Uh, an elixir on him to cure the status, because otherwise Isaac isn't even going to be able to hit the guy. I mean, he might but not very likely since I'm using regular attacks instead of synergy to deal my damage here. Okay, so now we got eruption coming up, so yeah, everyone defends so we can survive. Yeah, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, let's see. So I've got, I think, two more rounds before I need to rebuff on impact there. Yeah, this fight's going enormously better than I thought it would. Hmm, maybe I should have done this before going to Kalima to save a little bit of time. Makes the fight more interesting, at least. Okay, let's see. So, right now we need to get impact going. I'm surprised I don't need to heal, but I guess Saturus missed me there. I was... I saw it. So... Oh... He's, oh, right, right, yeah. Hey, all right, got him. Okay, well, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was. So now, like I was saying in the previous episode, I want to show well, a little bit of extra dialogue you get if you go here first before going to Kalima. So I'll just meet you at Kalima there. Okay, we're back at Kalima here, and... Well, now, I I haven't gone here yet to get Granite, so since we have Mia this time around, we get a little different dialogue. By the way, if you bring Mia to talk to whoever the guy was back at Bilibin, McCoy, the, uh, she doesn't have anything different to say, or say, sorry. Ah! The trees have clothes? They don't look like that to me. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, you do get a little extra dialogue with Mia here. Oddly enough, though, I don't think you get any additional dialogue with Tret. At least that's not what I saw. I think the only thing she says differently or adds to it, is she says something like, let's get out of here, Isaac, after defeating the evil Tret, and you leave the whole dungeon. You look like you're standing up to me. Hell, not anymore. Does she get the little bubble barrier, too? What's going on? Oh, maybe. 
Either that or it could be snow. We finally got snow around here. In real life, I mean. Take longer than it usually does. Ha ha. Well, at least you already got the water element going for you, Mia. Ah, she does have that little barrier thing, too, huh? I wonder how Saturos and Minardi would have gotten through here then, since we didn't lift the curse already. If you go to the barricade, well, you'd have to eventually. But, yeah, they would have already knocked the trees over or something. Well, evidently. I mean, we're not trees. Oh, domes. Okay, we could call it that, too. Yeah, I was going to say, magic or synergy, whatever you want to call it, same difference. What do you mean? Ah. Well, it just kind of worked automatically. Sadly, we don't have anything like a passive synergy or anything like that. Although it did seem to be pretty passive here. But all right. So, are we good? Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I thought. Either that or when we need a deus ex machina, that too. Well, we've been kind of training it for our whole lives. But what? But what? Well, yeah, I could tell you that. Ah. Oh. Well, thanks a whole lot. You didn't help us when we were getting our ass kicked by Saturos in the intro. But, yeah, we could go with that. Now you're just try talking crazy there, Garrett. But yeah, I don't think they ever mentioned this again. Ha ha. Maybe he's borrowing some snow from Emil there or something since we've been there already. What, a rock hit your head or something? Oh, yeah, probably. Well, we would like to survive. Well, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Try to cut someone else in half, they're going to probably try to do that to you, too. Well, it's not like staying around here would be of any use. By a rock? Well, they kind of deserved it. Ah, or that. Well, I already have the Hermes water, but even though you would have it with you when you first talk to them, you still have to go through the whole dungeon anyway in order to defeat Evil Tret and then use a Hermes water. You can't just skip the whole dungeon, use a Hermes water, and just move on. No, no, it doesn't work that way. Well, we got the water. Well, sounds like a plan, but... All right, so that's everything that I think is significantly different by going to the Mercury Lighthouse first. So now I'm going to go back to Billy Bin from where I finished off the previous episode and get a reward for saving everyone around here. Okay, we're back at Billy Bin here. And most of the people around here are just like, yay, thanks for ending the curse and all that stuff. Hmm, Alton, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, 
maybe we should check that out if we happen to drop on by. I'm not going to talk to everyone around here, but I will talk to a few people. Let's see. Okay, yeah, but let's go up to the palace and get our reward. Hopefully the wife doesn't mind. Oh, yeah, we took care of your curse for you. Yep. Can I get a reward? What the? What are you arresting me for? Seriously, I have no idea why they're going through this. Yeah, took care of your tree problem for you. Ah, oh, well, Mia wasn't with us the first time around. But you would have had to recruit Mia in order to get the Hermes water the second time around. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Well, we're still all in one piece. Oh, okay. So, was that whole arresting us thing just like some kind of joke? Like, you're under arrest! Gotcha! Or a practical joke or something? I don't know. Maybe they didn't mean arrest literally, like literally arresting you and throwing you in jail. He just wanted to take custody of us or something. Take us to the guy in charge or something. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, I wonder what happens if I say no. You know, let's give that a try. Oh, okay. So I guess it doesn't matter either way. Now, there's actually four potential rewards that you can get out of this. You only get one of them. Well, all right. Yeah, we had that vault down below earlier. And, okay, so there's four chests. From left to right, they contain a vial, potion, a side crystal... And a water of life. And the water of life is the best one of them. Not just because it can sell for the most money, but also because of the revival effect. And it restores you to full HP. So that really helps out a lot. Oh, well, yeah, I suppose. But yeah, if you try to open the other chests, well, they don't explode, but you, you can't take those as rewards anyway. So, oh well. We got what we came here for. Hey, how's it going? Well, it's not gonna be anytime soon. Well, we, he kind of doesn't want us to turn into a tree. Yeah, that, that would be a problem. Oh, or that. Maybe. Okay, how's it going? Why do you have a mind pick on you? You're building a house. What possible use could a mining pick be? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just thought that was an amusing line. Let's see. Oh, there's one more guy I want to talk to. Oh. Well, you are kind of on the payroll, so... Now that's just getting creepy. Notice me, senpai. A am I saying it right? Uh, I'm not sure the expression kids use for that or something. Okay, well, that's everything we can do here. I will meet you back at Kalima and see what lies beyond. Okay, we're back. Well, let's see what lies beyond or east of Kalima here. I think the enemies are still the same around here, though, at least for now. Yeah, these enemies are starting to get pretty weak, not worth getting the experience for. I would imagine if you tried to cross the bridge before resolving the problems at Kalima, 
that we wouldn't have been able to go through here. Although, how Saturos and everyone else got across the bridge, I don't know. Probably just teleported with Alex or something. Oh, thanks, I guess. Well, it's like I used to say, always burn your bridges behind you. You never know who might be trying to follow. Guess Turos didn't learn that lesson, did he? Well, we can teach it to him again. Why not? Okay, we got a new enemy on the right there. Let's see, that is a mole. Those guys can inflict the delusion status on you, and they are weak to Mars. So, let's see. Let's go... Hmm. Yeah, let's go like this. Yeah, I'm not going to bother going for every single Jin or Unleashing Jin kill. Oh, man, I thought he would have been able to finish him off by then. Okay, whatever. Yeah, it's a negligible amount of experience in the long run. But, yeah, I'm not going to do that for every single enemy unless I have multiple Jin that can do that, which we will eventually get more Jin that can damage and... Well, thus kill enemies. Let's check out the Fuchin Temple. Someone was saying, Inchi Bailey, I think that's supposed to be like Fujin Temple or something. That would kind of make sense. F-U-J-I-N. Oh, yeah, the forest is all good now. Oh, darn. Oh, really? Huh. Hey, how's it going? You got a cave behind that waterfall there? Just like every RPG? Oh. Yeah, we took care of all that problem, but I guess we can't go past it. Okay, never mind. By the way, I don't think you actually have to go through this part of the game with the Fujin Temple here. You could... Well, just keep going, I guess. Let's see, how are we doing? Well, I can use my synergy. And I heard someone was telling me, Itchy Bailey, you can actually get a little more dialogue at Alton later on if you go without this scenario. Hmm? Oh! Yeah, I suppose. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. Oh, you actually do say something different from the side. Huh, that's weird. Oh, yeah, goodwill my ass. Well, yeah, probably goodwill. Okay, if we go over here... Ha-ha! We get another ring that we... We don't need to equip, but it's basically unlimited antidotes. Unless it breaks, which it probably would eventually. Hey, how's it going? Dude? Oh, okay. Hey, how's it going? Well, I'm kind of right in front of you. Yeah, I was just talking to you. Uh, sure, I, I don't know who them is. But I'll go along with it. Oh, okay. So yeah, what you're supposed to do is go through this scenario and then go through the woods because that would make it easier for you to figure out where to go. But you can make it through the forest or the woods without this scenario if you've played the game before, and you know where to go and everything. Oh. Okay, sure, why not? Sounds like a plan. Oh, what was with that? Were you just, like, speaking telepathically to someone? Oh, okay. So I guess I got a yin-yang thing going on here. Alright. Well, at least we're getting villages that have different decor. 
Hey, hey, all right, sounds like a plan. Let's go check it out. Okay, well, let's see what this says. Hmm, remember that for later, viewers. For now, let's go up here and let's see. You know what? Let's make a, yeah, let's make a backup here just in case I screw up somehow. For mini boss time against a mimic. Now this one is a bit tougher than the previous ones that we've met up with before. But they are all weak to Mars, so we'll be able to take advantage of that a little bit. Not bad, not bad. I was gonna say, please don't put Isaac to sleep, but of course he did. Okay, so we got all those in there. Let's see. Yeah, let's just keep going with that. Isaac will hopefully wake up eventually. On his own. Deep status ailments or debuffs will go away eventually. But it does take a while sometimes. Normally, I wouldn't have Garrett using Blast this much. But since Isaac is asleep, I want to get more damage in there if I can okay good good hmm let me see my agility okay I think a regular attack actually you know what let's go with plasma just to be on the safe side I think that'll be enough to finish the guy off haha -ha! gotcha with the gen kill and I'll go for a little extra length on today's episode since I did some Redo content there. A game ticket, that's it? After going through all that effort? Yeah, that was much more difficult than I remember. But okay, well, let's continue onward then. There's only so many paths we can take. Hmm. Okay, well, we can't do anything on the right side there. The path to the right is a dead end for now, so don't worry about that. Hmm. I wonder what that means. Remember that for later, viewers. Okay, all our gin are ready to go. I'm very paranoid about forgetting to reset my gin. And encounter a new enemy. All right. Let's see. Bone Fighter. These guys are pretty much just like their cousins that we met up with early on. Hmm. Yeah, I think that'll be good enough. Or maybe not. That's okay, never mind then. No, I want to get that gin kill now. I must have just been barely off from being able to kill that guy. He does not have that much HP. Let's try that one again, pal. But alright, another level. Awesome. Am I going the right way? I think I am. Yeah, I am. Okay, good, good. I was a little concerned there. Okay, I want to get to that chest first. So let's go over here. Ha ha. Yeah, always take the long routes. But all right, we get a better weapon there. Let's see, I think it's our first rare, or not our first rare weapon, but... Oh, I forgot about that hard map, too. Well, we get another, well, another rare weapon. Our first long sword that's rare. And yeah, it can deal some ice elemental damage or mercury damage, I guess. So yeah, let's just give it to you. I don't even care about the unleash effect because I'll almost never use it, but it's there. And it has more attack power than what I've already had. Yeah, broadsword, you served me well up to now, but I think your time is through. Okay, now we could just go right across those spikes, but we'd take a little damage from it. So let's just take the long way around, take the scenic route. Yeah, I like how the place kind of loops in on itself like this. Makes good use of all the space. See, I don't want to go up there. Okay, let's see. I think there's a little trick to this part. Ah, yeah, okay, I know this part. 
Okay, so we do that. We go up here. Ha-ha! Yeah, a little tricky there. Okay, how are we doing with our gen? Er, well, our HP could use a little boost there. Yeah, let's take care of that. Make a backup just in case this guy decides to run away. For boss time against the Jupiter Genie. And this guy is... Let's see. Well, he's pretty weak. He only has like a little over 300 HP. So I think we'll be okay. Let's see. Being a Jupiter Genie, I need Venus to take advantage of that elemental weakness. So for now, let's just go buffing up Garrett there a little bit. Oh yeah, we got mad growth from leveling up a bit there with Isaac too. Whoa! Holy crap! Okay, let's see. If I go... Let's go attack. I'll leave you behind there. I think this will be enough, assuming the guy doesn't run away. Haha! -ha! Gotcha! Oh, now we learn mad growth for Garrett. Thanks. Thanks a whole bunch, game. But alright, awesome. Now, what I want to do here is something a little different than what I was originally planning. So we get another Jupiter Genie, but as you can see, even equipping it doesn't upgrade our job class at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take Gus, and I want to give it to Garrett doesn't affect our job classes, and I don't really care that much about the stats, but I want to give it to him because Garrett is going to be slower than Mia and Ivan there, so that way I could have him make a kill with Gust after those two soften up an enemy, or I could do that with Isaac with Mars there, because most enemies in the game are going to be weak to Mars or Jupiter. So you generally want to have those attack gen on slower characters so you can finish them off. But can we solve the puzzles around here and pass the test? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun. I'm HC Santa, signing off. Merry Christmas, viewers. Ho, ho, ho.